Welcome to the 515. I'm Devin Gooden. I'm joined here today by Republican gubernatorial candidate and Oregon State Representative Newt Bueller. How are you? Nice to see you. Well, let's go ahead and just dive right in. Right now in Southern Oregon, we are dealing with mega fires that are causing smoke damage to our regional economy. Federal force management is at the top of everyone's minds. So tell us what you would do differently than your opponent to both stop and prevent catastrophic wildfires. Yeah, certainly this is a crisis and everyone who lives in Southern Oregon, and for that matter, most of Oregon anymore, has been affected by it. It's a, it's a crisis in terms of public health. It's a crisis in terms of the, what it does to the economy. And it's certainly a crisis with regards to the ecologic damage, we have to do better. And it really is a result of, of decades of failed forest management policy uh, from the state of Oregon and the federal government. And as governor, I will change the policy. I'll be more proactive in dealing with the fires, how we fight the fires. And importantly, we need to have healthier forests. And a big starting point to that is actually thinning the forest so they're not so unhealthy and these, these fires can't start so easily. And Representative, you grew up in Roseburg, and you've talked about the ur urban-rural divide in our state. Can you explain exactly what the urban-rural divide is and how you would tackle it? Well, the, the urban-rural divide is really palpable right now. Uh, palpable meaning when I'm in places like, like Coos Bay or Klamath, Klamath Falls. Now the, the hostility is almost palpable in people, but importantly, the, the hope still endures. And a lot of the people in these communities feel left out and left behind because of decades of struggling with unemployment, poverty, and addiction. And we need to have a governor who really cares about rural Oregon and a governor who, who leads. Leads in being a partner, being an advocate, being a voice for rural Oregon and bringing people together. And the best place to start there is improving rural economies. And I'm actually very optimistic about rural Oregon if we just have an or, uh, a governor who leads. Leads in, in really leveraging our food industry because the world is, is hungry for a lot of Oregon products, food products, uh, innovative wood products, uh, and even clean renewable energy. We just need a governor who cares and a governor who leads to, to overcome this rural urban divide. Well, this seems like a great place to take a break. We'll have so much more with Representative Bueller when we come back. Welcome back to the Five on Five. Again, we're joined here by Oregon State Representative Newt Bueller. And so back to PERS and PERS collateral damage to school funding is a big topic right now. And you re recently released a plan for Oregon schools. How does this plan to fix our schools differ from Kate Brown's? Yeah, fixing Oregon schools is a top priority for me. I, too many kids have been left behind and they need to be rescued uh, from underperforming uh, public schools in Oregon. And I have a vision, a, a plan and specific goals. Uh, the vision ad admittedly is, is ambitious but achievable, but it's this. Uh, I'll lead Oregon schools from the bottom five in the nation to the top five in five years. And there's a specific uh, outline of how we're gonna get there, but two important goals right away that we need to accomplish. Uh, first, we need to restore Oregon's lost school year may not realize it, but kids in Oregon go to a school almost a full year less than the national standard, or even a kid in Washington after 12 years. And importantly, to add back these lost school days, to restore the lost school year, we actually need to end our classroom funding crisis. Not enough dollars are actually getting into the classroom, and I have a plan to do that. And so there have been some troubling reports about the culture, or at least some individual behavior in the Oregon legislature that you've specifically addressed. You have asked both the Speaker of the House, uh, Tina Kotek, and Senate President Peter Courtney to resign. Why do you believe they should step down? Yeah. So, sexual harassment in the workplace is just not tolerable, and specifically in the Oregon legislature should not be tolerable. So I've asked for Speaker Kotek and uh, Pre Senate President Courtney to step down because they've been the leader when there's been so many complaints. And the most important and the most damning complaint comes from our labor commissioner, the top official in the state of Oregon to uphold these workplace standards. And it's clear uh, with his complaint against uh, Speaker Kotek and President Courtney that they have not been op upholding these standards. So make sure it's a safe and welcoming uh, environment for everyone to work in the state capitol. And we need to set that example, being legislators, lawmakers, elected officials. And in my opinion, they haven't done that. They need to, they need to resign and give up their position so we can reestablish a healthy culture in Oregon state capitol. Yeah. 
Yes. And so you said you have also you would support the ballot initiative to repeal Oregon as a sanctuary state. Why have you decided to take this position? You know, we have failed immigration policy uh, over 30 years, and it's both parties' uh, fault. Uh, we need to rally people around and come up with solutions to this. And my number one responsibility as governor is keeping everyone safe, no matter if you're a citizen or here undocumented. We need to make sure that we don't racially profile, and we need to make sure that if you're here illegally or undocumented, you need to feel safe and secure interacting with law enforcement. Those are all the goals I think we can we can agree on. And importantly, when you're convicted of a crime or charged with a crime and here, here illegally, we need to have some collaboration with federal law enforcement. So those are kind of the, the solution set that we all need to agree on and come up with, with standards and it allows us to do it. Well, Representative, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so Thank much for you. joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back.